What's up, everybody? This is Dallas Stone here, and today I just wanted to quickly go over um, Blender's Boolean tools. Uh, if you're switching over from Maya to Blender, things are done a little bit differently when it comes to um, how these operations will work. So, right now we have this cube, let's say, right, and then you want to kind of um, make some cuts and stuff like that uh, inside this cube um, with these spheres and these cylinders. So the very first thing is you have to have the objects in here. Um, I have the objects also um, named as cutters, so you can kind of uh, have a better idea of uh, you know which objects are going to be the ones cutting into the into the the main object. So the main the first thing that's very different about Blender is that it uses things called stacks, um, stack modifiers. So to add a stack modifier. You gotta go into this wrench here. Um, click that. Go to add modifier. And go to boolean, and then from here you want to add the object. Um, so let's go cylinder, and then uh, so it's gonna do that cylinder, and we're gonna do uh, a difference, right? And then to see this or what happens here, you just disable um, the visual or the visibility on it, and then that way you can kind of see um, where it is, right? You can kind of move this here. Turn that to invisible. You can select the sphere, or go back here, and let's uh, let's add another boolean. So let's go to uh, a boolean again. So we want to add a second boolean, and from here you want to use a sphere. And again, let's go uh, difference again, so we can see a drastic change. You can really see how that kind of cuts in, right? And then essentially, if you want to. Um, Combine all this stuff so that the object now um, is combined, right? Uh, you just uh, hold on, let me just do that again more slowly. You just have to um, apply it. Once you apply it, um, it will create the shape for you. Whereas right now, if you go to edit mode uh, with the cube, um, it hasn't been applied yet. So you can see the result, but you haven't actually applied the result. So once you click apply on both of these, you now have an object with your booleans cutting through um, your object. Hopefully that helps out for all those uh, Maya uh, users switching over to Blender.